Welcome back to Night in the Woods. It's time to head to the first of three places that we're gonna do some research in to find out more about ghosts and the strange happenings in this town. The graveyard. Let's do it. So I believe the graveyard was where little Joe was reported to be buried. The old ghost legend. Someone who, used, who uh, died in the, the mine accident. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. Spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay. What's scary? Uh... Things are like... Monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like... A skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? Ah, this is dumb. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? Uh, about your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll. Oh, I accidentally skipped it. I think I think Major said I'll wait here or something like that. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. Uh, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Should I go back this way or... Yeah. Rose. 95 years old. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now I have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw, she saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Taken by flu, 14 years old. Ah, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. Poor family. 
Okay, I'm just sad now. Uh, groundskeeper? Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. Does this job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Brad Boyson. No age or anything. Oh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So... What? What? <laughs> Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Tick-tock, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. See, was that the last grave? Yeah. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes? That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave... gonna like cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these weird sink... Uh, they shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Oh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, that's those three weird kids again, I think. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? Yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well, answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? It? You heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer! <laughs> what the hell? Yes? It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. 
Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grrr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. <laughs> what does that even mean? So you're gonna wrestle this person? Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like, lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. It's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. Mmm. So, college story, high school story, or junior story? One time in college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something. Which is weird about college, it's like a little town. Got to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so, I got up the nerve to talk to her. And I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around and, and all I could do was wave? Oof. This is funny. And, and then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. <laughs> oh god. And it hurt. And I staggered back and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. <laughs> Jeez, and my face went into <laughs> trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flailed until the trash tipped over, and I got up and the girl had... She watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile like I'd somehow meant to do that. <laughs> but it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash spaghetti and, and uh, I puked all over myself. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Did that actually happen, May? No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. Wow, that's messed up. I'm gonna throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. I hate everything right now. Ah, forget it. Let's go. So like, ghosts? Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So you know how you said you're, you've you been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes. 
echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. Doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. <sighs> Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Uh, to keep people like you out? And stop what you're probably gonna do? Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing. You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Oh, this is probably just how we get back, huh? Back over the gate. There's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ah, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Oh. I guess that's not how to get back, but I guess... Oh, I'm probably gonna jump on the, the, uh, the limb and it's gonna come crashing down on the gate. Would be my guess. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Uh, guess I'm just gonna look around? For ghosts? Ah, oh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry. You had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. <laughs> what a surprise. You found graves. I can't jump, by the way. I can only walk. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Should I be going this far back? Or am I just, like, leaving the place? This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. It didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid! I'm gonna smash this shit up! Uh, whoa dude, hold up, no. Wakey wakey, little Joe! Okay, that didn't sound right. Wait. 
Is there like a secret chamber or like a sinkhole? Ah, that sounds deep and grumbly. Am I gonna open up a sinkhole? Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin. With a rotting corpse in it. P, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got more uh, a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. Uh, come on. Ah! So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So, there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went, just like... Out of the corner of my eye. Is it... I don't know, but we need to leave, now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone, now. Okay, fine, jeez. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the... How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone... There are other people in the graveyard, you know? Ah, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Yeah, so apparently... I didn't actually see it when I first opened it up but apparently there was a hole in the skull. Probably how they died. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah. Weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. Should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa. It was like effing nuts, man. 
Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Nah, whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. <laughs> Good night as F. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May seriously, it was the groundskeeper. I thought you believed in ghosts. I do. Kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway, how could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or, or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you enjoyed so far. And tomorrow, we'll go on another adventure. <laughs>